last week on Andrew Rooney Drums. Hey, hey, what is up? Andrew, it is YouTube here once again. This one is going to blow your mind. 11 days ago, I got a message, an email from the manager of the godfather of heavy metal, the Blizzard of Oz. The Prince of Darkness. I say, hold on. Right? Now, what did it say here? Hey, Andrew, I sent you through an email. Uh, Ozzy watches quite a bit of YouTube and came across your channel. That's what she said. Not literally. He said that he really enjoys your content and wanted me to send you a package. Wait a minute. Now, I know what you're thinking. There's no way the Prince of Darkness is watching this channel. So I did a little bit of investigating, and as it turns out, this is 100% legit. Look what arrived today. Now, of course, I'm going to do what any influenza worth their salt is going to do. I'm going to make a teaser video like this, leading to an unboxing video. Because that is the influenza way. And I am an influenza. I, th I think I'm an influenza. Babe, am I an influenza? Yeah, one of those people that does the content. Same thing. Influencer, influenza, same thing. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's spelt the same. I'm not too old to be an influenza. I was watching a guy the other day. He was putting a hand on a cat's tail and it was hilarious. And that guy was like 60. Anyway, guys, stay tuned for the unboxing. Hit me in the comments with what you think it is. All right, so just catching you guys up on the uh, events so far, which <laughs> I'm a little bit blown away. I'm a little bit scared to even open this package, which I've purposefully got not on the address side um, because obviously I want to protect the innocent here. Uh, Culver City, California. I've never heard of Culver City, but um, there you go. That's where this package has come from. So if you made it here, um, we are going to open this package from the man himself, the Prince of Darkness, Ozzy Osbourne. The thought that Ozzy Osbourne watches my channel. I don't, I don't even know what I think of that. That's um, quite amazing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get straight into it. I've messaged a few of my friends who are like, that's, uh, that's not from Ozzy Osbourne. I'm like... <laughs> Damn well, is. and my wife is messaging me saying, "What? What is it? What is it?" So here we go. Be a little bit careful opening it because of the ASMR. Here you go. Isn't that what all the kids are into these days? Sound, sound. Oh, opening these things. All right. Here we go. It's not a bat, is it? Someone had to say it. Someone had to say it. I know we've moved on, Ozzy. <laughs> Baby. Man. Just gonna leave that there. Are you as blown away with this as I am? Because I am in complete disbelief at this point. I mean, this is probably... Oh, what do we have here? To Andrew, I love you. I love your show. You rock. I'm getting a little bit emotional here. This is um This is incredible. Patient number nine. Now was this the album with Brad Wilk on it? Excuse my ignorance. Calm down the breathing here. We've got Immortal with Mike McCready. Okay. Patient number nine, Jeff Beck. You guys will know this album better than me. Parasite with Zach Wild. Side B, No Escape From Now, Tony Iommi, uh, featuring Tony Iommi. One of These Days featuring Eric Clapton. A Thousand Shades featuring Jeff Beck. Side C, Mr. Darkness featuring Zach Wild, 
uh, then Nothing Feels Right featuring Zach Wild, Evil Shuffle featuring Zach Wild. Uh, side D, the double vinyl. Well, I'm, um, I'll look after this. Uh, side D, Degradation Rules featuring uh, featuring Tony Iommi, Dead and Gone, God Only Knows, Dark Side Blues. It's been a minute since I've had some vinyl too. Oh my god. Oh, this is beautiful. You forget how glorious vinyl is. I'm going to take a lot of care with this stuff. Oh. Now this is something, you know guys, liner notes on albums, particularly vinyl being bigger, being like a bigger physical thing that you can hold. Oh man, this is just a beautiful thing. So, um, oh man. Who was the drummer on the album? As I uh, as I look at the list of musicians who played on this album, I'm truly humbled. Jeff Beck, Eric Clapton, Tony Iommi, Zach Wilde, Mike McCready, Rob Trujillo, uh, Taylor Hawkins, oh man, uh, Duff McKagan, Chad Smith, Josh Homme, Andrew Watt, Chris Cheney. Okay, so obviously this is well after 2022. I'm thinking of, I think it was the album 13, the one that had Brad Walk on it. Uh, me being a big Rage Against the Machine fan, where can I prop this up? Um, physical media. Now, I'm going to come clean here. Um, even if I do a big rant to you about the value of music, the value of physical media, media um, I've got to come clean here and tell you I do not have a record player. I think I'm going to get one to, to play this. I mean, look at this. The, the thought, I, you, you know, you can feel the, the thought and the attention to detail that has gone into um, this vinyl. For example, it's no mistake that these um, nice little um, record sleeves are, are black, for example. It might not seem like a big deal. Of course, they're black. It's Ozzy Osbourne, the Prince of Darkness. Um... But it's a decision, right? When you stream music, there's, there's none of that there. There's no none of that decision. You're not holding things either. You're not often seeing the font. Uh, you don't have a physical thing in your hands. That's what she said. Wow. You know, I've, I have heard through the grapevine that Ozzy Osbourne is a, is a great person. Uh, despite the reputation as the wild man, um, I think he's pretty well regarded as as a dude, as a lad, as a lad, in it, as a pommy lad, in it. Um, he's just he's one of these dudes. He's just he's a good guy. You can sense it. You get the same thing with like Danny Carey. Uh, I mean, most most musicians are good people, um, but you get a certain warmth from some people, uh, despite the what would you call it the reputation the persona the image and i think amongst the through the industry aussie's one of these people so there it is um that's what aussie sent out and i'm just beyond humbled beyond humbled <laughs> i don't even know what to say thank you from one fan uh, to you, Aussie, thank you so much. And thank you to uh, the person who I will not name because I don't want anybody getting unwanted attention. Thank you to the person who reached out. Uh, it, it kind of adds to the reputation of these people as being just down to earth. You know, he's watching YouTube. Aussie's got time to watch you, me, me on YouTube. You kidding me? Um, uh, just before I let you go, back to vinyl and uh, the the lost art of vinyl. Um, there's a certain, let's, let's look at the track listing. Now, this is another thing that I think people either forget about or grew up not even knowing about. There was a structure to the way you would uh, structure the songs on your album. 
Um, typically, you know, would you open up with a big banger? Yes, probably likely. You know, in the rock scene, rock metal scene, you want to open up strong. You want to hit them, you know, right between the eyes with something big. Do you follow that song up with another big one? Mm, maybe. Maybe track two. Another belter. Track three. Do we just keep going? Do we just steamroll the audience? Maybe, depending on where we're at with, uh, you know, how we envisage this thing as being um, accepted and received and absorbed by the fan. But at some point, maybe track three or four, five, we change it up. Uh, we might finish side one with somewhat of a ballad or a slower tempo and then we're back into, you know, we start the process again, we hit them between the eyes with the start of side two. There is also something to be said with picking up a piece of vinyl, which is beautiful. Oh, I mean, come on. You, you know, and you place it on the record player, it, it's moving, there's motion involved and a physical thing and being a needle um, hits the uh, acetate or vinyl and and the grooves and we have sound we have music and there is something moving in the room there's something very I don't want to overstate this I didn't believe me I've talked about this on other videos so uh, I do feel strong about this there's something about the motion it's almost like a waterfall right that they would be quite relaxing and quite like you're yeah, meditative that this thing is moving and producing sound it's very old school sort of takes you back to an older perhaps slower time um so there's that and then let's talk about liner notes just for a minute i intended for this video to be incredibly short but it's turned out to be very long that's what she said. Um, liner notes. Now, if we look here, let's just take, let's take the first song, Immortal, featuring Mike McCready. Now, already, you might not know that. Well, okay, if you streamed it, it will probably come up, Immortal featuring Mike McCready, sure. Are you gonna get the words? Uh, sure, I think you, there is a function like on Spotify and, and whatnot for it to play the words. <laughs> okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm ruining my own story here, but, I think holding it physically, reading the words, I used to get an album when I was a kid, whether it be ACDC or an Iron Maiden album or a, whoever else I was into at the time, Nirvana or whoever. And I would sit there, I would know all the words to all these songs. I would know who engineered the song, who produced it. Um, hit me in the comments if that's normal for you as well, if it wasn't just a weird thing that I had. But I would, I don't even know what these people did, by the way. I didn't know what a producer really was. I don't know what a mix engineer really did. I, d I didn't know what A&R meant, but I knew who these people were. Because you have something. It's like a book. You have something to read. Um, so it says here, written by John Osborne, Andrew Watman. I'm not going to read out all these people. Chad Smith, Duff McKagan, I mean, already I'm intrigued because we've got Chili Peppers, we've got um, Guns N' Roses um, and Ozzy. I mean, and then it tells you about the publishing, uh, vocals, background vocals, um, you know, engineered by, I can't read that very well, engineered by Paul LaMalfa, produced by Andrew Watt. Uh, tells you who additional engineers were uh, recorded and tracked. Tells you where it was recorded and tracked. Um, and on and on throughout this double album. Guys, completely blown away. Thank you to the viewers who have made this channel what it is through your support. And thank you to legends like Ozzy Osbourne for jumping on and uh, also enjoying. I don't know what else to say. Speechless. Thank you. Bye.